We have a beautiful field of wildflowers growing on our land. All this rain has really popped them out. Hey, circuit riders, welcome back. As you can see, we're still on our main land, but we did not have time this week to get these tall tamaracks taken down. Uh, so we're gonna leave that until after our big Canada trip. We are leaving right now for Canada. And over the next few weeks, there'll be uh, a, probably a few different videos of our trip. This is our big 30th anniversary trip. We are gonna start out in New Brunswick at a lobster festival. We're gonna head over to Nova Scotia for a few days, and we're gonna fly to Newfoundland for two weeks. Um, so we're so excited to share that with you. Thanks for coming along. Heading to the Canadian border here in Holton. We are experts at taking the RV over Canada's border now, so we're not too concerned. We've been eating down all of our poultry products and eggs and uh, making sure that we don't have any food stuff that is not allowed over the border. And since we're gonna have to put our RV in storage anyway when we fly to Newfoundland, all of our food needs to be gone anyway, so we've been eating down over the past few weeks. Oh, we got a bunch of RVs coming yep, into, coming the, into US. the US. Nice momentum, toy hauler. Got a van, rugged truck, travel trailer, Another small travel trailer. Wow, I've never seen this many cars stacked up to come in the United States. Let's see, it's noonish. It's, it's like twelve twenty-two. Oh, you know why it is? Because everyone, July. everyone in Canada has this weekend off for Canada Day. Okay, I gotta go over here. So they're coming, they're coming over for a long weekend. Camper trailer. There we go. Hmm. <clears throat> we're just sitting at the camper camper lane because we're not sure nobody's here right now. We'll, we'll wait for someone to come over. The trucks are going through over here. So we're excited that we're going to be in Canada for Canada Day the, for the first time. July 1st is Canada Day. And what is Canada Day, Jason? Why is it significant? I, I don't know. <laughs> it sort of coincides with the 4th of July in the U.S., but it's not like an Independence Day for Canada. I think I actually Possibly don't know, it's but it's to celebrate. Celebrating the founding of Canada. Okay, I looked it up. So Canada is celebrating when Canada became a self-governing uh, territory or dominion from Great Britain. So it is sort of their Independence Day. Yep. As right. always. Pleasant, we, pleasant experience. Just answered yeah. a few questions. We're if on our way. If it's twice as long coming back in, which it often is, it, that will take nine minutes. <laughs> So we're just outside of Moncton, New Brunswick, coming into our uh, campground in about a half an hour. But along the road, there was a sign that um, said, pull over to the way station when flashing. And then we went a little bit farther and then this thing flashed at us and said, you know, pull over. I think it thinks that we're a semi truck because we've got this big thing behind us, but we're just gonna pull over here and make sure that they don't want us to uh, get weighed. Either way. Oh. Well, they turned the green light on for us. I guess we didn't have to no, stop. It stayed green the whole time. Oh, okay. Someone inside is letting us know we don't need to stop, I guess. No. No, it did what it's supposed to do. We, did, we weren't overweight. Oh, the I see. The truck in front of us had the same experience. We pulled onto the scale. Yeah, you're supposed you're to saying. go slow enough over that it weighs you and weighs the different tires, I'm sure. Oh, got it. Yeah, and then it would have supposedly warned us. We're starting our weekend in New Brunswick with a visit to Hopewell Rocks. It's about an hour south of Shediac and Moncton. And this is a famous area because it's on the Bay of Fundy. Now the Bay of Fundy is a great tidal bay and it, it, all the rivers that come off of it through St. John's and other parts of New Brunswick have big tides during the day. Because of the strong tide here, it washes in and out of this 
beach at Hopewell Rocks and these huge rocks are affected by the erosion of the tide. So twice a day, the bottoms of the rocks are covered in water and erode a little bit and then the tides go back out. So we're gonna see some great rock formations here. There is a fee to get in here uh, and it looks like it's a quite a big walking path here. We're gonna see lots of different rocks out in the water. Now, I just wanted to point out something here that I love about New Brunswick. New Brunswick is the only province in Canada that officially has two languages, French and English. Uh, of course, ca Canada is a bilingual country, but New Brunswick is the only one that officially has French as an official language. Quebec is the other one that only has French and not English as an official language. But the thing I love about New Brunswick is there's so many signs in French and English, and it's kind of fun to try to read the French side of the sign and see if you can figure out what it says, if you know any French at all, and then look at the English side to see if you were right. It's kind of a, an instant you know correction or class in French so um, this sign has some good French on it thank you for visiting the rocks at Hopewell Rocks there is a shuttle service down to the beach but uh, we're gonna take the 15 minute walking trip okay viewpoint or beach access oh if we go that way it's like a higher lookout maybe. Yeah. And to the right is beach access. So let's go to the beach. Yeah, we got here just about an hour after low tide, so yeah, the tides coming in. Coming in, but, but the rocks are still down, exposed. So let's go let's go down to the beach and see them. These are the flower pot rocks. Yeah, these yeah. are called the flower pot rocks. You can see the trees at the top look like flowers coming out. All right, smile for your picture. You, you can tell there's extreme tides here just from how, like that's barely above low tide. It goes way up to there. So yeah, extreme swings from tides. was recent or millennia ago you can see this tall one there was one like it next to it and that's what tumbled including this coming all the way out here I think oh so look at the uh, piece that's jammed in between okay. Fallen. Happy Canada Day. It is July 1st and we are headed down to the Shediac Lobster Festival. This is one of the reasons that we came here this weekend. Today is the first day of the festival and it's about a 20 minute walk from our campground. When I, we checked into the campground, they gave us a nice walking trail map of different trails all around the city of Shediac town. Um, Shediac has about a population of about 6,000. We're about 20 minutes outside of Moncton, which is the largest city in New Brunswick, but Shediac itself is a small seaside tourist town. Uh, so we are going to walk the purple path here from our campground down to the festival. <laughs> People out enjoying this it's a beautiful day. Yes, it is. Just a little bit on the hot side. Les octrois, le gouvernement provincial, la ville de Chidiac, 
le CMA 2024, euh, qui est un de nos partenaires, ainsi que le Chidiac Lobster Shop. Euh, sans vous, les partenaires, les autres sponsors, on ne pourrait pas avoir le festival. Donc, merci beaucoup de participer et de nous appuyer. Although we are the lobster capital of the world, we're not the only community that celebrates in this manner. As a result of the initiative of the Lobster Festival organizers, as mayor, I was invited to travel to Brobridge, Louisiana, the crawfish capital of the world, to participate in their crawfish festival and to renew ties with our twin city of over 50 years. Well, you better be ready because the music's about to start. I've got the timer, five minutes, cinq minutes timer. Êtes-vous prêt? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Get ready to get juicy. All right. On est prêt la musique? Un, deux, trois, go! All right, on commence avec la queue. Monsieur Lawrence, avec la queue. Il aime bien de la baie. Je ne sais pas s'il mange un homard différent à la baie. Monsieur Joël, le conseiller, nos pressures, votre un élu, puis euh, l'emblème de la baie, c'est le homard. Je vais vous montrer que c'est un Also as part of the Lobster Festival, we got to attend a wonderful concert of Acadian music. at night but it's still really light out in the sky. Come back next week when we finish up our time in New Brunswick and head over to Nova Scotia. Until then, have a great week. Bye! Ham, forest, black, I don't know what this word is. Smoked. <laughs>